are you chasing hustle or are you chasing your gift? And the thing that was so interesting about that to me is I thought like, you know, he was like, are you chasing hustle or are you chasing? And I was like, your passion. <laughs> you know, like, cause I thought that was, I thought that was what he's going to say. But he said, are you, or are you chasing your gift? Because your gift, like that doesn't change. Like you were born with certain gifts and skills and abilities and talents. You can become passionate about something or you can lose passion in something. No different from a relationship to a job or a career, but your gifts are your gifts. And, and looking at what you're actually talented in, like what are those things that you can do easily that other people, it takes them forever to do. If you start chasing after what you're actually truly gifted in, like your God-given abilities, like that's what you are supposed to be doing. Like the things that you find super easy that everyone else is like, I don't, I have no idea how you're doing that. The things that when you do it, you're just like, you love it and you just can do it all day long. Like chasing after that, not just, not just chasing this, like I want to be busy all day. And so I can wear this, you know, H on my chest of hustle and you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, like I love the hustle, but like if you're hustling and not getting anything done, like you lose. When you're, when you're going all in on the thing that you were actually like, the skill and talent and ability that you were actually born with, um, to me, there's something special that happens there. Um, a lot of people like, call that congruence. Um, but when you're operating out of those natural skills and abilities, you will become passionate. Uh, and there's so many people that I think they, they go on this journey of self-awareness and they go and try to discover all these things about them and they focus on the negative and trying to fix them. I'm a bad, I'm a bad listener, I'm a bad um, planner. I'm a, it's about celebrating those things that you are incredible at and building an infrastructure around you so that you can be that every single day, all day. Like that's, for me, that's what 2018 is all about. It's about building an infrastructure around me that enables me to do what I was born to do. And another word to throw in there that's even more important is the word purpose. Like there's a big difference between passion and purpose and I think a lot of people become frustrated because they're judging their potential on the wrong purpose they're judging mm. their potential on the wrong purpose so like I've got a MacBook sitting in front of me and if I needed to hammer some nails into this desk I could smack it with this MacBook but it's not the MacBook's purpose and if I judge this MacBook on its ability to hammer a nail then I'm gonna be pretty mm. frustrated with the results <laughs> But if I judge the MacBook yeah. on its purpose to do the things that I do on it, well, then that's a whole different story.